Hey everybody. I'm back. Back. I don't even want to say back in the real world because like what is the real world? But I'm back in the city. I woke up super early this morning just because my body is still running on cabin time and it's just you know hold on I need the address to where I'm going so one a second alrighty I got the address and I am on my merry way so I'm just running an errand I want to get some poetry uh, some poem excerpts from my poetry book into like a postcard size you could frame it you could put it on your fridge you could give it to someone um, type of thing so I'm just heading over to a printing house to see if they can do that for me uh, cabin was so much fun did not want to come back at all uh, came back and had a day so I was confusing I thought Labor Day was the week before so all my emails were like hope you enjoyed your Labor Day weekend and everyone was like what is this girl talking about uh, my hair is relatively red in the sun and I'm not sure how I feel about that Anywho, so Labor Day was yesterday. It was a rough day. I didn't want to be here. <laughs> but woke up this morning and I'm back in the groove. So yeah, falls. Falls kind of here. My closet is still a disaster. I did not do a thing with it. Part of the reason why is I want to strip everything off, everything, and paint, which adds an extra level of procrastination in my head because I still have to get paint. It's not so simple as getting just a can of white paint. There are hundreds of shades of white and I want, want to find the most perfect one for the closet. With that being said, I still need a dresser. When I redid my office, I did the Ikea thing and a lot of the things that I was intending on getting were not in stock. So that deterred me many weeks and checking back. So I think that's part of the reason why my closet has just been in such a disarray. Um, so paint, organize, donate clothes it's gonna be like a whole day's worth I know this and it's just not a top priority but it's it's soon going to be a top priority because all my fall and winter clothes are in storage which I've asked all my friends like hey what do you do with your seasonal clothes like what do you do with your winter clothes when it's summer I put mine away in luggages and store them out of sight. Is that common? Like, how is this not talked about? How have I not found a YouTube video that discusses this very topic? Uh, so yeah, and there's just so many things that I want to get rid of and donate and shopping and it's just like a whole thing in my head. I'm very well aware that thinking about these things and talking about them and stressing about them is a hundred times more effort than just sitting down and doing it. So this will be the last that I'm talking about it. I have to go to a paint shop. I have to get paint and just go on with it. But then the paint has to dry. So guys, this is what I mean. It's a whole darn thing. Anyways, I didn't have any breakfast, so I'm kind of hungry. I'm low-key hoping that this print house that I'm going to is near Whole Foods. Because then I'm going to stop, stop there and buy my 
myself a quick little breakfast, probably like a muffin of sorts. Maybe some yogurt. I've also noticed how my diet is changing now that the winter months, the colder months are approaching. I am uh, not necessarily wanting heartier foods, but I'm definitely wanting a different palette, which I always find very amusing. It's like, how does the body know? Your cells are smart, they just know. Yeah, all right, well I'm going to get to this place and I will check in with you in a wee bit. So I just finished with my morning errand, went swimmingly, super easy. Love doing work in the morning because everyone's fresh, you're usually their first client and so it's really good. I need to wake up earlier and do things in the morning way more often than I am now. It's about 11, I think. Just just past 11. My dad's supposed to pick me up at some point today. I think we're going to go grab a coffee, but I just stopped off at Whole Foods. I had to because I was so hungry. I got myself a better morning muffin. So good. And I got myself a brekkie matcha. Not sure where that cut off because my music chimed in, but I got myself a brekkie matcha from Greenhouse as well. Super, super good. Uh, nine grams of sugar, not bad. And it has 4% calcium and 14% of your daily iron. And 11 grams of plant protein based from it's not in the ingredients list but it says plant protein I think they usually have a, is it pea protein it's entirely possible because I'm hungry I'm not seeing the word and it's like right there uh, yeah so I'm gonna head home My dad's supposed to pick me up at some point in the next little bit to go get some coffee and do a little mooch around. I haven't seen him in over a week. So, yeah. It's like, even though I'm in my car, my windows are down. There was a guy just over there. And it's like, I was so timid to talk in front of him. No, I don't know why. For all he knows, I could have been on the phone. Anyways. I'm going to enjoy this muffin. My drive. Some music. And, uh. There is going to be so many crumbs all over my car that are going to live here for the next, like, 30 years. Ugh. I don't actually have a prop for the camera in my car, so I'm just going to awkwardly hold it before I start moving. Yeah, so as I mentioned, I have been uh, kind of taking it slower, um the last couple days and it has been interesting because I feel as though not I feel as though I, there is a lot going on around me in the community and the country and the world and it's just it's all so reflective on the individual as well that not everyone's to blame, but no one can point fingers at anybody anymore. And it's just kind of like, what are you doing to protect your energy, protect your space, protect your heart, protect just your overall well-being? Because 
if all of this has taught me anything and it hasn't taught me one thing it's taught me a lot of things that i've practiced even before a pandemic needed to hit um was that all we really have is the present which is so cliche at this point but it's so true and our health and our sanity and ourselves and so it really hurts when i'm burnt out and stressed out because it's just like I feel like I'm good for nothing other than vegging and as productive as vegging is there's this looming FOMO that creeps in and you're just like oh I could be doing this or I should be doing that or I should be spending time on this and you almost can't veg so it's just further perpetuating this lack and this inevitable not inevitable but this chase that we're all on and in this this race and it just I had to stop it and you know being away at the cabin has done has put so many things to the surface that it's hard to bring some of those principles and those values to everyday life when you're living in a city environment because you're picking up on so many energies. You're picking up on your neighbor. You're picking up on the driver next to you. You're picking up energy from the people at the store. And it's like, that's why I love running errands so early in the morning because it's like you don't feel these energies or staying awake super late at night because people are asleep and vegging and they're not emitting so much if that makes any sense so it's been tough and not only that it's like I hadn't gone away in so long so it's like just that mentality of going somewhere and it being kind of vacation-y although not my typical vacation it was still very vacation-y so you know in the next couple of weeks I feel like things are really gonna get crazy they're are elections going on here there is vaccine mandates and all this crap that it's like I do not want to bring into this space but I know we're all going through this so whoever's watching this um I'm just having a conversation you know which we haven't had because everything's so polarized but the importance of nature, the importance of grounding, and the importance of nutrition are so, so crucial to my overall, over, overall, overall well-being that I think that has to, you know, it's just bumped its way up to the top list of the priority because, priority list because I just had, like, work there. And that's a whole other separate conversation. It's like will not bring that to the space either <coughs> but yeah so I just kind of wanted to end my vlog there I'm off to get some lunch I did some work and unlike finishing work yesterday at 7 in the evening I'm finishing work today at 1 15 I'm gonna go grab some lunch grab some dinner ingredients um, I want to eat more clean. I haven't been eating that clean lately because I've been so off and so busy, busy, uh, that I just haven't made nutrition a priority. So I've been like supplementing like crazy, but that's no way to live. So whole foods, nutritious foods, and ugh, there's a fly in the car. Out, out you. Um, so yeah. If you're watching, get some rest, pamper yourself, treat yourself like the amazing and magical entity that you are, and until next week. <laughs>